What's going on everybody? It's Game Unbox from Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update. So on top of the three sets that we've previously talked about, seven new LEGO Star Wars sets that are confirmed to feature in this game have also been revealed and I'm going to be showcasing and talking all about them in this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so some elements that are included in some of these sets will already be unlockable in the main game, such as minifigures and vehicles. One one of these sets is the AT-80, which of course includes a brick build of the AT-80 itself, as well as a Hoff speeder bike and minifigures of Luke Skywalker in his Rebel pilot uniform, General Veers, two AT-80 drivers, and two snow troopers. Then we have the 501st Legion clone trooper set, which includes an AT-RT, a BARC speeder, and minifigures of the 501st clone troopers, plus a 501st jet trooper, and two battle droids. We also have Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Interceptor, which includes includes Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, as well as minifigures of the Chosen One himself, and of course R2-D2. As well as that, there's also General Grievous' Starfighter, which of course includes Grievous' Starfighter and minifigures of Obi-Wan Kenobi, an airborne clone trooper, and Grievous. There is also the Knights of Ren transport ship, which of course includes the transport ship itself, as well as minifigures based on the Knights of Ren and Rey from the Rise of Skywalker. And finally for these sets, we have the Armored Assault Tank, which includes the AAT, as well as minifigures of an AAT driver battle droid, a battle droid, plus Ahsoka Tano and Ahsoka's clone trooper. And since the official press release clearly states that what is included in these sets will also feature in the game, hopefully we can take that as a confirmation that Ahsoka will be playable. But of course, we will just have to wait and see. Now then, in addition to this, other sets will also include secret codes in the building instructions that can be found inside each box, which fans will then be able to enter in this game to unlock unlock new characters and ships. So first up we have the Razorcrest set, based on the hit Disney Plus series The Mandalorian. And this set includes a brick build of the Razorcrest ship itself, as well as minifigures of a Scout Trooper, Grief Karga, IG-11, The Mandalorian, and of course Baby Yoda, aka The Child. But on top of all of that, the set will also include a code which will allow players to be able to unlock the Razorcrest vehicle for use in this game. However, redeeming the code that is included in this set will be the only way for players to be able to unlock the Razorcrest ship for use in this game. Up next we have the Resistance ITS transport set, which is of course inspired by the Star Wars themed land at Disney parks known as Galaxy's Edge. And this set includes the transport vehicle, as well as minifigures of Vi Maradi, Lieutenant Beck, plus an astromech droid, a GNK power droid, and a code which will allow players to be able to unlock the transport vehicle for use in this game. But again, like the Razorcrest set, redeeming the code that is included in this set will be the only way for players to be able to unlock the transport vehicle for use in this game. Next up we have the Death Star Final Duel set, which includes Emperor Palpatine's throne, as well as minifigures of Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, Imperial Royal Guards, and a code which will allow players to be able to unlock the Emperor as a playable character in this game. And finally, the last set that we need to talk about is of course the LEGO Star Wars was Advent Calendar, which includes a variety of different things, such as mini-build toys of the Millennium Falcon, an A-Wing, TIE Fighter, X-Wing, Droid Control Ship, Anakin's Pod Racer, and even Darth Vader's Castle, as well as minifigures and figures of Poe Dameron, Darth Vader in a Christmas sweater, and a Tauntaun with a red nose. But best of all, it also includes a code that will allow players to be able to unlock the Gonk Droid as a playable character in this game game. But not just any version of a gonk droid, it is in fact a Christmas themed snow version of the gonk droid, which is very interesting. I definitely wasn't expecting that to be in the game, but there we are. Very, very cool. But lastly, one final thing that I wanted to point out is that there has been no mention of redeeming these character codes being the only way for players to be able to unlock Palpatine and the snow gonk droid in this game. So unlike the two vehicles, they are more than likely just early unlock codes. All right. So so that's pretty much it for this video. All that's left to say now is that more information about this game is confirmed to be coming this summer, which is extremely exciting news. I absolutely cannot wait to see more. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And as always, if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest news on Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, then please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.